here. Okay. This is a game called Burning Daylight. It is free to play. I know nothing about it. Let's go. Am I supposed to do something? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go towards the light. That's a bright light, my dude. You know what? I just realized something. It seems like stream sound is super loud. Hold up a second. Let's put it there. Try to reduce some clipping a little bit there. Okay. What the fuck am I? That is me? Oh no. Well, banned on Twitch, I guess. What the hell is going on? Erratic movements, pretty fun. The love of God, mate, cover up. Okay. I don't like this ASMR. Oh my god. Why is it so choppy? I'm gonna put this up just a little bit as well. It's not even on the highest quality. All right, well, whatever. Oh. This definitely seems a little... This is a little more hellish than I was expecting, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Good lord. X. You know what? Fine. I'll grab a controller. Hold on. I was using keyboard and mouse, but... They pushed my hand, I guess. They forced my hand. Clothing, maybe? I'm not exactly a big fan of, uh, Hain and Dong on, up on Twitch.tv. Since I know how they are about that sort of thing. Nutriman. Okay. Maybe opening the giant windows was a mistake. 
Especially if we're trying to hide from, like, robots? Yeah. Who saw that one coming? Can I, like, duck or something? Do I have, like, any controls at all? I guess not. Okay. I can't push forward until I go back all the way, by the way. For whatever reason. Hell yeah, let's go right into this robot's lungs or whatever the hell this is. Right down the tube. That seems smart. I feel like maybe I should be exploring more or something, but it didn't seem like there was a whole lot to explore. I was able to open one door, and in that door I was able to use one computer. And now we're here, so... It seems like it's probably going to be a pretty linear path. I don't think there are even our achievements, though. Like, I know you say that in jest, but I'm pretty sure there aren't even achievements. It'd be cool to get some clothing, though. Hey, it's that neutral whatever symbol we saw. This is a really cool setting, I have to say. Uh-oh. This guy's in VR. Hey, buddy, can I use your clothes? He will provide. There's like glass on the floor that it's not letting me. Oh my God, pass by. What the hell happened over here? Oh no. Oh, I have shoes now. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it, I get it. We can walk across the glass now. I understand what they're saying. They're basically down with the bourgeoisie. The proletariat will rise again. I'm hip to its socialism. I get the dog whistling. I can hear it, you know? By the end of the game, you get a full set of clothes and a job. Because the government has provided for you. Comrade. This is a really cool setting, though. Like, actually, I'm pretty impressed. Oh, wow, that late title card, though. Pretty cool. Daylight, yep. You just gotta unplug, dude. Let Big Brother take care of you. Together we are strong. That guy's going to meet an unfortunate accident with his hands, I think.
I can't actually interact with anybody. So is life, my dude. Because they're on their phones. They're in their VR. They're on their Google uh, cardboard. Oh no, what are you doing, man? That whole building was held together by that hoodie. You're still, um, still hanging out, my dude. We gotta find some pants. Uh. Sixty-two, more like sixty-nine. Am I right, boys? We're gonna find some pants. You ever have that dream where you're doing whatever in your daily life, but you don't have pants on? And then you realize it and everything is terrible. It's a terrible dream, my dude. Also, it got weirdly like framey again out of nowhere. This is a pretty big area. More people on their Google Cardboard virtual reality devices. Yo, Homer. Can a brother get some pants? Oh, that seems like it's probably bad. Let's walk into it. Okay. Well, we just fell to our death. Oh, never mind. We can't die. We can't die yet because we don't have pants. As soon as we get pants, all bets are off, dude. Man, it's like never that conveniently easy. Hey, how are you doing, buddy? So glad you picked me up. Listen, I'm pretty low on battery. Could you help me find a charging station? Make sure no one sees the blankets. <laughs> the robot is Canadian, you son of a bitch. How dare you say that in my presence? This seems like a charging station. Minnesotan. Oh, hey, buddy. Hmm. Too bad, buddy. Looks like I'm not the only one having power problems today. Oh, great. A sassy robot companion. Who would have thought? Man, they never have sassy robot companions anymore. Baby. 
I mean, I know I don't have pants on, but lady, we just met. Honestly, I'm getting freaked out. There's a very unsettling vibe going on here. If it calls you my dude, I'm fucking out. Hey, my dude. Love this stuff. Nutritious, delicious, and vegan. Be careful when one catches us like this. Oh, good. We're in California now. I really, really want to find some pants. You are so clumsy. That's what you get from skipping the new gymnastics. We are almost home. We are almost home. Can we just like open all of these? I'm going to guess no. I probably shouldn't even bother wasting my time doing this, but on the off chance one of them opens, we might get some like cool story thing or something. Yeah, I didn't think so. I thought that I saw a dude around here. I know, I know, this is probably a waste of time. Okay, let's just go to our home. Now plug me in, baby. Don't call me baby, toots. Can I leave without it? We don't need it. Life is so much better when you're not in. I'm, I'm sure we can't progress without it. Hey, sweet tits. Hey there. Oh my god, pants. Yes. But you can just call me Sarah. Consider me your personal companion and your gateway to light inside our glorious tower. Thanks for tower. saving my life. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. Oh my god, I just realized I can't see who left that hold up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I actually don't know who that is. Okay, quick, let me, uh, I have to get this other site up. Because that's the way it goes. Okay, hold up. Blah, blah, blah. I'll reach out in a second. Hey, baby, six dollars and ninety cents. Oh, you're right. I thought it was supposed to be something. Let me look into it in a mo in a second. I don't remember if it was ever a thing. It seems like we should be able to go through there, right? Who's a good boy? You are. Oh, I see. The gamification of real life. Is this the, uh... This is what it's saying to us? This is like the future Pokemon Go, essentially. People only go for a walk. 
when uh, I'm stuck. Keyboard isn't working either. Did the game crash? What the hell's going on here? Yeah, the game's like just not responding at all. All right, time to control all delete. Let's see if it's like actually not responding. No, it says it's running. In fact, strangely enough, it says that two instances of it are running, which doesn't make any sense. Bummer, dude. The game just completely, like, stopped working. Okay, let me jump back in. Uh... Okay, well... It seems like we're halfway, roughly. I'll save you some heartaches, Zeiss, and tell you that leet isn't anything, so... Yet. I was planning on, at some point of doing something there, but I didn't have any ideas. Okay, so I guess we're replaying this section. Man, I bet that was, like, on the cusp of the new a new uh, chapter, too. Like, I bet going through that door is the start of that other chapter that's locked. What a bummer. Man, it's such a bummer having to do this part again. It really, like, took me out of the situation. <laughs> oh, well. Games will be games. Man, that's what it is. I'm not gonna rag on the game too much for it because I'm this is a free thing that I'm sure like one dude is probably making, but uh. I saw one of the reviews on the Steam page saying that this thing is like really unoptimized and boy they're right. <laughs> it is uh it is very unoptimized. But at least it runs like so I guess there's that. Well, we'll see if I can get through this door this time or not. I need to get the pants again, dude. In fact, I'm just gonna hide my shame like this.
I wish things charged this fast. Hey there. Juiced up and ready to go out and enjoy the day. By the way, I'm your special augmented reality assistant. Okay. But you can just call me Sarah. Consider me your personal companion and your gateway to light inside our glorious tower. Please just like let it work this time. I don't know why it stopped working last time, but this is totally a new chapter. I can feel it. That motion blur. Yeah, see how it's loading? That was totally a new chapter. That sucks. Oh well. Kinda looks like the reboot logo for anybody that remembers reboot. Hmm. I think I've sustained a bit of water damage. My translation configuration is all messed up. Sorry about that. I hear Spanish and I see some tig old biddies in the foreground. Man, a little laggy. What the fuck is that? Punch. Do I punch this guy? Well done, baby. This is all we need to get through that door. There we go. Man, what a cool setting, though. Holy shit, I really like the setting. It's really too bad that this isn't better optimized to be like a steady frame rate. This is so cool looking though. Oh my god, this is like the shit I live for aesthetically. I'm such a sucker for this look. It's so dumb. It really is just like gamifying life, I guess. Wearing this VR goggle. Now I have to pick up coins to access different parts of this. Could you imagine if in real life you couldn't access some parts of your own city until you had enough coins to like open? I guess like for you Americans that live in giant cities, you have like toll booths and stuff. But like imagine walking down the block and then there just being like a gate in which you needed a virtual currency in order to open and continue. Well done. That'd probably be a way to segregate people. I mean, if you want to go that route, they've kind of been doing it for a long time, <laughs> I suppose. Let's join in and punch, punch, punch. Oh my god, social commentary. Look on his face after that. Best Christmas ever. Nailed it. Go buy some. He's a good boy. You are. Can I buy anything here? Or am I just collecting coins? to have them. Oh my god, the slowdown. Holy shit. 
some parts of the city are definitely worse than others, I will say. This is kind of looking like an old 90s version of uh, what the future looks like. Like, this kind of looks like a 90s computer game. Man, I don't know how I feel about committing hate crimes against cherries like this. Cherries did nothing wrong. I guess we're gonna go in here. Nope, I guess we're not. Man, I really, really love like futuristic sleaze ball look. The like smoky alley where the pink neon lights just like reflect off the smoke to make it like this weird like fog I love that shit that's so good oh good don't mind me folks um Frank what are we doing here we should go back to the sexy place there's nothing this way oh my god well Man, I really, okay. I really, really hope that I don't actually get clipped off Twitch for this shit. <laughs> I didn't know that they'd, they'd have kind of gratuitous sex parts like that. You just passed someone playing Seed of the Dead. Yeah. We don't talk about Seed of the Dead here. That's a PH thing. Oh lord, what the fuck is going on here? You know what? Maybe it is going for the 90s game aesthetic. If it is going for that, that like weird little lag in it, the like 24-ish frames a second is actually like a pretty standard look for those old games. I don't think that they're, they meant to do that, but it kind of works weirdly. Right, so, okay, this is the Matrix, basically. I'm ready. It's time to become one with the singularity. Take me, old machine god.
I mean, I pushed it. What the fuck else does it want me to do? There it is. Just turn it off. Yeah, just unplug it. Praise the sun. <laughs> Wait, what? Why were we the chosen one? Oh my god, that bright light though. Is this an innuendo? No, this is Patrick. That reboot logo, though. Oh, this seems bad. It's not even letting me down there. So maybe we need to find something else. I don't understand. I mean, I'm guess I'm going to try again. Oh, okay, here we go. Hey, it's that warehouse from the end of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, we destiny now, boys. Oh, look at that. Little bonsai buddy bush tree. How cute. I'm guessing this is all just like a way of saying turn off the video games and go outside, you bums. That frame rate just took the giantest dip. Good lord. Oh, neat. Very pretty. I'm so confused <laughs> as to what's going on here.
Oh, it's a jellyfish. How quaint. Oh. I see. Oh good, more dongs. I am one of the chosen clones. Let me in, I need to speak with the manager. stars <laughs> also high this took a weird completely different turn than what I thought it's the game I'm a robot. I knew it. This whole time, God was actually I just a. I be flossing. <laughs> I be flossing. That timing. I be flossing. I be flossing. <laughs> Let me guess, this was the last guy to break free of the virtual reality machine? Or maybe the one who created it to begin with? Dude, just go get some pants. They're just down there. Oh no, I think he died. I'm gonna go sit in his chair. This is the final battle. Oh God. Ah, interesting. All right, well, that was burning daylight. Seems like maybe it was a student project. Pretty good for like a free thing, actually. Yeah, for, via University College Animation Workshop. Neat. That was cool. So that's a free thing to just, you can download on Steam and play through.